here today to celebrate the life of Rajni Prasanna. Rajni Prasanna Nehebar has lived life in full and on her terms. In the world of contemporary art, she has grappled with the abstraction by her insight and intellect. She has intuitively carved out a space to enjoy her life. Born as the youngest child to KK Hebar and Sushila, she grew up in Mahim, Mumbai. Her sister Rekha and she both went to Kenosa Convent. Hebar's house was a beehive visited by writers, painters, musicians and theatre personalities. This made her soak in culture. A lack of it and she feels like fish out of water. Rajni was a shy girl. While sister Rekha took to painting, Rajni followed her father and both sisters would enter many competitions. Hi Rajni, Pandu and I wish you a very, very happy birthday. We wish you good health and happiness always. Rajni, I consider myself truly blessed to have known you all my life. To me, you have been a great sister, a true friend and an amazing role model. You are a strong, intelligent, kind and generous woman who found a husband to match you perfectly and raised two, be two beautiful, wonderful children. I have looked up to you for as long as I can remember and my admiration only grows with each passing year. Happy birthday to you, dearest Rajani. Rajani loved cats. She provided them a place to litter at her Mahim house, where she had 11 cats at one time. When they moved to Kalanagar, a bungalow and a compound allowed her to keep a dog. Successively, for four decades, she had a dog who was the dearest member of her family. No wonder a friend remarked, if we were to be born again in Rajani's home, we should pray to be born as her pet. Graduating from Elphinstone College, she did her Masters at Xavier's in Cultural History. She took up teaching Art History at the JD School of Arts, Mumbai. Her sister Rekha played Cupid, introducing Prasanna. He was flawed by this charming, bright, articulate young girl. Prasanna then marshaled his friend Narayan Murthy to endorse him to her. Coping with his friends was a challenge to Rajni. They enjoyed whiskey and he handed her an orange drink, which she just could not drink. When investigated by Murthy, the orange juice turned out to be Narangi, the country liquor. Their marriage was a simple celebration with friends and family at Mumbai. Next surprise by Prasanna was a budgeted honeymoon sponsored by the cash gifts he would get as a present at the wedding. Frugal wedding, frugal honeymoon. <laughs> More in store, three-tire train was booked for the journey. She enjoyed visiting Kabin Park, Vidhan Saudha, Mysore Palace and the romantic Brindavan Gardens. Rajani added Belur and Halebid to start the introduction of art and heritage to her husband. Rajani started as a lecturer in Sir J.J. School of Arts, an iconic institution for art education. Self-taught in diverse subjects like history, art and interiors, she gained a lot of respect from students and colleagues. Students, apart from observing her smart grooming, started listening to her lectures. Art show reviews in Asian Age and The Times made young artists respect her for intellect and influence over buyers. She became known as Hebar Madam. She got ICCR grant to lecture in Europe. This deepened her knowledge of current contemporary art movements. Soon Premji allocated a budget and asked her to buy art for Wipro. She developed an intuition on who will be famous tomorrow. It took 15 years for Maharashtra government and insistence on her passing 12th standard Marathi to promote her as professor and head of art history department. She was the first in 135 years of JJ to be the woman professor and head of department. By the time she settled down in her fancy corner office, she had to make a call to live in USA or enjoy her professorship. Her students, who are big artists today, touch her feet. Let us listen to Gaude, her student. 
Hello, Mrs. Prasanna. This is Usha Gaude, class of 1988. I was with Avina, um, and I don't think you will remember me so much. Never student, um, nowhere near Avina, of course. And uh, I'd like to thank you for all the time and energy you have given us to teach us, and and it's made a lot of impact in our lives. Moving to Milwaukee, she charmed the Wisconsin University art professor to offer Indian art history. She had to drive in bitter cold to downtown. She gained instant respect when she enrolled as a student for one semester to no student expectation in class. She enjoyed teaching and popularity of her elective course was a testimony. Good evening friends. I have been associated with Rajni and family for three decades and counting. Today she is celebrating a historic moment in her life. What can I say about Rajni? That she is a wonderful host. She uses charm wherever she goes. She makes one feel extremely comfortable and she has all the warmth in the world with the people she interacts with. And once when we drove down from Milwaukee to Chicago and on reaching Chicago, the first question she asked was, are there any art museums close by. You must know that she's a great lover of arts. She took keen interest in adding a cultural dimension in GE. Growing GE locations soon had artworks handpicked by her. Mural by Ravi Kashi at Wipro GE, an iconic mural by Yusuf Arakal at GE Bell are priceless assets today. Annual events had a cultural richness curated by her. She introduced art, music, dance, theater to GE Medical. Her influence as cultural ambassador extended to GE clients as well. Hi Rajani, this is your birthday. We want to say hello to you and wish you a very good day with your loved ones. We are thinking about all those lovely days with you and us. That is a very good memory for all of us. Happy birthday! Johnny, I agree with Birgit. Congratulations on your birthday. And I also want to say, in addition to what Birgit said, that uh, I am especially grateful for your help when it comes to picking the Indian guitar in, on one of my visits to India in the past. It's still in our home in Gothenburg. Thank you. She ran an art appreciation course in CK Prahlad's Executive Day programs, reviewed art shows and newspapers, and was in the media for art events. Premji told her that her brand value in Bangalore is significantly higher than her husband's. Rajni activated Bangalore chapter of KK Hebar Art Foundation promoting upcoming artists. She taught at design school Shrishti, Chitrakala Parishrit, advertising school Vigin and Lay. Her contribution to art was recognized and she was made member of Lalit Kala Academy. She travelled to Mysore, Dharwar, Belgaum and Chikmangalore to encourage local artists. Shireen Malani, a sharp mind in the art gallery circle, noticed the value of Rajani's opinion on contemporary art and artists. Her network to old and young artists to source works and her access to art patrons. They both partnered and set the art scene in Bangalore on fire with many interesting art events. She was recognised and honoured by different forums. Let us listen to what Professor Veena has to say about Rajani. You are the most graceful and generous person that I have ever known. In JJ especially, you were like a breath of fresh air in the arid desert that was JJ. I remember still that how we used to eagerly wait for your classes, not only to see how you dressed, your, the way you draped your sari and everything else, but also for the way you used to bring every artwork to life with your simple and direct explanations. You demystified art for us. You made us fall in love with art. While Rajni was building her professional career, her work in life was well balanced. Getting Surabhi and Nehar to the right schools, particularly moving from Mumbai to USA and then to Bangalore was challenging but yet accomplished by her. Exposing them to different cultures, soaking heritage, art history through various travel and imbibing values came easy for Rajni. It was only her husband who struggled with work and life balance. My mom. The one thing that I wanted to share that I think was I think the biggest uh, influence for me growing up was that you 
made me believe in myself. Um, I had some ups and downs, whether they were, you know, test scores or difficulty getting into certain classes or schools or college. Um, you always um, were rooting for me and you always uh, cheered me on. And um, I think that had a very positive impact on my life because um, even during the time that I doubted myself, um, you were always there to encourage me. And I think that because of that, I am where I am today. And it's something that I also uh, try to instill in my children. Um, every time Rehan thinks that he can't do anything, I always encourage him and I always push him, push him as much as I can. So um, thank you for making me uh, you know, who I am today. While Rajini single-handedly made Nihar and Surabhi achieve success in their studies and pursue in top institutions their post-graduation program, she also allowed them to be guided by their own career choices while they sought her counsel. In high school, uh, you know, we had to come back to India really quickly, so I had to graduate in three years instead of four. And you were the driving force in making sure that I uh, completed all my college AP courses. When I wasn't able to uh, understand some subjects, you hired uh, students whom you taught at UW-Madison and they coached me through that subject and I succeeded in graduating with honors, uh, you know, a year earlier. You also were instrumental in uh, convincing dad that I should not be an engineer but I should pursue my true passion of design and again when I uh, wanted to quit my well-paying job and become an entrepreneur way before it was a buzzword. You uh, supported me and made sure that I could follow my dreams. So there, uh, you know, I'm really grateful to have had that support in my When it came to their choice of life partner, she was much more forthright in making them aware of the pros and cons of their choice. Then came the grandkids and all her issues vanished. It is a pure joy for her to spend time with them. Hi Rajani auntie, I'm traveling, so I'm sorry I can't be there, but I'd like to share one small incident that happened way back in the beginning, where I met you for the first time and uh, you asked me, are you sure you want to get married to my daughter? And I was, like yes and he's like do you know her very well I said well enough I suppose but I remember clearly you were saying see Siddharth my daughter is a very stubborn girl later on after you get married and if you have any problem don't come back running to me and say why didn't you tell me about this so I thought I'll just share this with you have a great time see you soon when we all went to gather to Italy on a holiday, I liked it there and I like eating your chart whenever we come to visit your house. And the one thing special about both of us is that we both have our birthday on the same day. The eldest shares her birthday and perhaps her gene. The portraits are done by her. Rajani has a generous heart when it comes to giving her time in promoting culture, specifically art. She has identified several young students for Hebar Scholarship. She has sponsored many a young artist in projects she's associated with. She works with her sister Rekha in art promotion through Hebar Art Foundation. She felt that an art centre should come up near Hebar's birthplace, Katangiri, four kilometers from Manipal. Rajani signed an agreement with Manipal to establish an art gallery on Manipal University. She and her sister donated 25 paintings to form the initial collection. It was inaugurated by Narayan Murthy. She persuaded her friend Zoya and cousin Narayan to add their paintings. Ranjan added three significant works. Today, it has become a major art happening place. She has helped many poor for access to education. An example, the Nariel Wala. Rajini Madam or Tumba Olde Oru. Rajini Madam or Namke Wordle Ke Tumba Sahay Madi Dare. 
ಅಂದರೆ ಅವರು ಕೊಟ್ಟ ಸ್ಕಾಲರ್ಶಿಪ್ಪಿಂದ ನಾವು ತುಂಬ ಓದಿ ಪಿ ಯು ಪಾಸ್ ಮಾಡಿದ್ದೀನಿ ಡಿಗ್ರಿ ಡಿಗ್ರಿ ಸೇರಿ ಡಿಗ್ರಿ ಓದಿದ್ದೀನಿ ಅವರಿಂದ ತುಂಬ ಸಹಾಯ ಆಗಿದೆ ಅವ್ರಿಗೆ ಒಳ್ಳೇದಾಗಿ ಶಿ ಕಾಂಟ್ರಿಬ್ಯೂಟೆಡ್ ಈಕ್ವಿಟಿ ವೆನ್ ಪ್ರಸನ್ನ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟೆಡ್ ಮಣಿಪಾಲ್ ಆಕನೋವಾ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ಹಿ ಸೋಲ್ಡ್ ಆಕನೋವಾ Prasanna wanted to give a third of family wealth to public health and history. She wholeheartedly supported him. Rajni's happiest moments are with her friends, particularly on trips. Her time with early life friends like Zoya in Canada, Rosetta and Bharti in Mumbai make her abandon her responsibilities and enjoy life fully. Early career trip to Sinhagarh with Vidya and Vishwas is fresh in memory and the music festival and their factory tour. And I friends like Rajagopal and Jyoti are special too. Taken memorable trips with them. With 1974 friends, she has traveled the world. Rita and Arun, Anit and Sundar, Tara and Aril, Ranjit and Neena. Baitaks with Yogini and Jeetu, Shukla and Debu, Bangalore club anytime with Jayashree and Lalit are cherished memories. Her four friends including Sudha can't live without meeting her at least once a month. Rajini's life has been glorious, but the best is yet to come. Happy birthday Rajini.